ஸ்ரீ குருபிய நமக சில்ட்ரன் வி வெல்கம் யூ டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏகலைவா எஸ்டர்டே வி ஸ்டார்டட் அவர் நியூ லெசன் அபவுட் ஃபுட் செக்யூரிட்டி அண்ட் நியூட்ரிஷன் அண்ட் வி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் திங்ஸ் லைக் பஃபஸ்டா பீரியஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் பர்ச்சேசிங் பார் பர்ச்சேசிங் பார் பேரிட்டி அண்ட் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் ஆஃப் நியூட்ரிஷன் இன் ஆர் கண்ட்ரி ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் ஆர் ஸ்டேட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் about the meaning of the purchasing power purchasing power it is the value of a currency expressed in terms of amounts of goods that we are buying goods and services that one unit of money can buy now we are going to discuss about the various factors affecting purchasing power under that we are going to discuss about increasing prices of essential goods demand for goods price of goods affect the value of currency production and supply of goods poverty and inequality so first we are going to discuss about increasing prices of essential goods even though there has been a constant growth in the gdp and growth opportunities in the indian economy there have been steady increase in prices of essential goods so the continuous rise in prices erodes the purchasing power and especially it affects the poor people next demand for goods when demand for goods increases automatically the prices of goods also increases then the purchasing power is affected next one price of goods affects the value of currency when the price increases the purchasing power decreases and finally the value of currency decreases production and supply of goods the production and supply of goods decline the price of goods increases then the purchasing power is affected so depending upon the supply of goods only prices decided now poverty and inequality there exists a huge economic disparity in the indian economy the proportion of income and assets owned by top 10 percentage of indian goes on increasing this has led to an increase in in the poverty level in the society so generally purchasing power is affected by poverty and unequal distribution of wealth so purchasing power affects every aspect of economic from consumers buying goods to investors who is investing their capital in the production of goods next we are going to discuss about triple p that is purchasing power parity so a concept that is related to purchasing power is purchasing power parity it is an economic theory that estimates the amount that needs to be adjusted to the price of an item so this purchasing power parity can be used to compare the output of countries that use different exchange rates and it is also used to compare countries income levels and other economic data concerning the cost of living or possible rates of indian inflation and deflation etc now we are going to discuss about agricultural policy in india the new agricultural policy based on export of agricultural goods was announced by the central government in the year 2018 this policy states that the government has decided to remove some export restrictions especially on organic and processed agricultural products so agricultural policy of a country is mostly designed by the government for raising agricultural production and productivity and also for raising the level of income 
and standard of living of former. Now we are going to discuss about the important objectives of India's agricultural policy. In that we are going to discuss about the various objectives like raising the productivity of input, raising value added per hectare, protecting the interests of poor farmers, modernizing agricultural sector, environmental degradation and removing bureaucratic obstacles. So first we are going to discuss about raising the productivity of inputs. So one of the important objectives of India's agricultural policy is to improve the productivity of inputs so purchased like HYV that is high yielding variety seeds, fertilizers, pesticides, irrigation products etc. Next one raising value added per hectare. Agricultural policy is to increase per hectare value added rather than raising physical output by raising the productivity of agriculture in general and productivity of small and marginal holding in particular. Third one, protecting the interests of poor farmers. Agricultural policy is proposed to protect the interests of poor and marginal farmers by abolishing intermediaries through land reforms expanding institutional credit support to poor farmers etc. Next one modernizing agricultural sector. Here the policy support includes the introduction of modern technology in agricultural operations and application of improved agricultural inputs like HYV seeds, fertilizers etc. Next one environmental degradation. Agricultural policy of India has set another objective to check environmental degradation of natural base of Indian agriculture. Next removing bureaucratic obstacles. The policy has set another objective to remove obstacles on the farmers, cooperative societies and self-help institutions so that they can work independently. Next, we are going to discuss about multidimensional nature of poverty. So, multidimensional poverty it reveals who is poor, how they are poor, and the range of disadvantages they experience. So, the multidimensional poverty index it was launched by the United Nations Development Program that is UNDP and the Oxford Poverty Human Development Initiative that is OPHI. So multidimensional poverty is made up of several factors that constitute poor people's experience of deprivation such as health, education and living standards. So the three dimensions of poverty are these three that is health, education and living standards. So under health there are some indicators. Some indicators are under health, nutrition and child mortality. Under education, years of schooling and school attendance. And standard of living is decided based on this. That is cooking fuel, sanitation, water, electricity, flow and other assets like movable and immovable. These are all the various indicators of multidimensional nature of poverty. Next, we are going to discuss about the nutrition and health status. Actually, food security includes nutrition security too. Though our country has reached self-sufficiency in food production, the nutrition status of the population has not seen corresponding levels of improvement. If you take 
our children and women a substantial number of indian children and women are underweight anemic and suffer from micronutrient deficiency so another indicator of nutrition deficiency among children is underweight which is weight in relation to their age though our country has reached self sufficiency in food production we are yet to attain food security for all now nutrition and health status in tamil nadu tamil nadu has played a pioneering role in bringing about significant changes in the health and nutrition status of children under 6 years of age pregnant women lactating mothers and adolescent girls the government of tamil nadu successive budget outlays for nutrition and health are the highest in the country especially the performance of icds so icds means integrated child development services scheme and ptmgr in mp it is purachi talaver mgr nutritious meal program that is the abbreviation of this ptmgr in mp the performance of this icds scheme and this ptmg or an mp in tamil nadu are considered one of the best in the country and if you take icds in tamil nadu it is being implemented through 54439 child centers comprises of anganwadis and mini anganwadis in 434 child development block if we move to pt mgr nmp it is considered to be the largest noon meal program in the country for ca- combating malnutrition among children and also it increases primary school enroll enrollment and reducing dropout rate so other states in the country have modeled their noon meal programs along the lines of tamil nadu pioneering effort at last we are going to discuss about the important ongoing schemes in tamil nadu so under dr muthulakshmi reddy maternity benefit scheme financial assistance to the tune of 12000 is being disbursed to poor pregnant women and next the chief minister comprehensive health insurance scheme was launched in the state in 2011 to 12 with the aim to provide universal health care to all by providing free medical and surgical treatment and tamil nadu health system project that is tn hsp has launched ambulance services free of cost that is the 108 emergency ambulance service and then the school health program emphasizes on providing comprehensive healthcare services to all students studying in government and government aided schools in this picture also you can see and at last the national leprosy eradication program is being implemented in the state with the aim to detect to provide sustained regular treatment to all the patients so these are all the various ongoing schemes in tamil nadu so in this lesson we discussed about food security and nutrition and we discussed about various schemes and plans by the government thank you children